In lesson 4, we used exponents with a base number of 10, and we applied our knowledge of base 10 to exponent to the metric system of measurement and conversions between meters, centimeters, and millimeters. So the conjectures that we talked about today are when converting from meters to centimeters, you're going to multiply the meters by 10 to the second power. And then the other conjecture that we had is when converting meters to millimeters, you're going to multiply meters by 10 to the third power. So what that would look like, let's say that we had three meters. And since we are converting from meters to centimeters, we are going to a bigger number, so we are going to multiply that 3 by 10 to the second power, and that is going to get us how many centimeters we have. And we know when we have 10 to the second power, that's like saying 100, which means that we're moving our decimal to place value. So I have a 1 and a 2, and we know when we have those empty place values, we're going to insert our zeros. So 3 meters is equal to 300 centimeters. Then if we take a look at our third conjecture, and we'll use that same process, but let's make it a little bit more complicated. Let's say that we had 4 point one six meters okay and we're still moving in that across direction so we know that we're going to multiply and when we're moving from meters to millimeters we're going to multiply by 10 to the third power and that is going to get us our millimeters so when I know that I have 10 to the third power, that's telling me that I'm moving my decimal three times. And because I'm multiplying, I'm going to be moving it to the right. So I go 1, 2, 3, and here's my final decimal. And I have this empty space, empty place value space, and so I'm going to put a 0. So 4.16 meters is going to be equal to 4,100 and 60 millimeters. Now we want to think about, instead of going the direction from meters to centimeters to millimeters, we're going to go in the opposite direction from either centimeters to meters or millimeters to meters. And the conjectures that we came up is came up with are when you move from centimeters to meters, you're going to divide the centimeters by 10 to the second power. So what that would look like, let's say that we had 367 centimeters. And because I'm moving in the direction to meters, I'm going to divide that by 10 to the second power, or I'm going to be dividing by 100, which is another way to rename 10 to the second power. And so I know that since I'm dividing, my other conjecture tells me that I'm moving my decimal to the left, and I'm going to be moving it two place values because my exponent is two. So if my decimal starts here at the end of my number, I'm going to move it to one, two place values. So my new decimal's here, which gives me an answer of 3.6 seven meters. Now let's take a look at our other conjecture. When converting millimeters to meters, so you're starting over here and you're going up to meters, you're going to divide the millimeters by 10 to the third power. So what that would look like, let's say I had 5,156 millimeters, and I want to know how many meters that is. I'm going to take that number 
and I'm going to divide it by 10 to the third power. So I'm going to do it down here so I have some room. So 5,156 millimeters, and I'm dividing it by 10 to the third power, which is also equal to 1,000 if I were to rename it. And that's going to get me how many meters. So I know that when I am dividing, that my decimal is going to be moving to the left. And how many place values it's moving is 3 from my exponent. So my place value is here at the end of my number, and I'm moving it 1, 2, and 3 place values. So my answer of 5,156 meters would be 5.156 meters. So how can we use this knowledge to help us with our homework? If you're looking at problem 1, part E, we have 6.3 meters to centimeters. So we're converting from meters to centimeters. So I'm going to look and see which one of my conjectures matches meters to centimeters. Oh, it's that first one. So I'm going to make sure that I am following what I do when I'm converting from meters to centimeters. And it says you multiply the meters by 10 to the second power. So over here on this line is where I'm actually going to write my equation. And I, it says I multiply the meters. So I'm going to write my meters, which is 6.3, because over here it says that I have 6.3 meters. And to convert it to centimeters, it says multiply by 10 to the second power. And that is going to give me my centimeters. So just like we did on the chart above, you're going to ask yourself, okay, I'm multiplying, which means my decimal is going to move to the right and it's going to move to the right two place values from our exponent. So I'm going to go one place value, two place value. And I have this extra spot here that already has a zero in it. So my answer would be 630 centimeters. So over here in the middle, your meters would be 6.3 from the problem. And your answer would be 630 centimeters. So I would suggest you always look here and match it up to which conjecture will you be using to solve that problem. And then I would go from that to writing my equation to solve. And then I would fill in the middle part with my answer.